Asylum Mystery Theatre presents... Spirits in the Valley. Welcome back to Island Mystery Theatre. In Act 1, Mr. Wheeler's niece, Talia, arrived on Tulunalu for a visit. After learning that she's arrived on the night of the roaming spirits, Talia talks to Kor into entering the Valley of Kokunu, where the spirits that roam Tulunalu are rumored to reside. Once there, Talia runs into the jungle only to scream with horror. We join Kor as he runs after her. Talia! Talia! What happened? Where are you? Talia, where are you? This isn't funny. Talia, where, where are you? Miss Tawila's gonna kill me. Where is she? Talia! Ah! Ah, miss me? Oh, Talia, get off my back. <laughs> Why? Don't you like me on here? You scared me. I thought something happened to you. Oh, well, you're concerned about me. You're so sweet. <laughs> it's not funny. Okay, this jungle is not a place to mess around in. Weird things happen here if you don't respect it, especially on this night. Mm-hmm. That's exactly why we're here. So we can tell people we braved it out in the jungle during the scariest night of the year. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Uh, we're not going to be out here all night. This is way deeper than I planned on going in. That's what he said. <laughs> That's not funny. It's already starting to get dark. We really should head back. Oh, it's fine. I have a flashlight on my phone and I'm sure you do too. Let's just hike a little and see if anything scary happens. I don't know. Your aunt is going to... Oh, oh. Do you really want to talk about my aunt? <laughs> Not if you keep kissing me like that. Well, if we keep hiking, you may get another one. Okay, 15 minutes shouldn't be a problem. Back at the resort, Balin has gotten Miss Tuila a little tipsy with her signature cocktails. Balin! We need to bottle this cocktail and sell it worldwide. It's so good. Well, thanks, Miss T. And judging from you, it packs a punch. Well, I'm a lightweight. You know, you know I, I remember the first time I had a drink. It was many, many years ago on the night of the roaming spirits. Really? Oh, yes. And to this day, I'm not sure if I was seeing actual spirits or if I was seeing things because of the spirits I was drinking. Um. Well, I have seen some things too. And I was sober. So I know this day holds some kind of power. What kinds of things have you seen? All right, well, three years ago, when I first arrived on Tulunalu, I went down to Treads Beach. Nobody told me I shouldn't be there on this night, and I was walking. I heard someone yell in the jungle. They sounded hurt, so I ran in, and then... Wait, I... did you ask permission to enter before you did? Oh, I didn't, but I won't make that mistake again. When I was about mm, 50 yards in, I saw a figure. It was dark, but I could see his red eyes. When I blinked, he was gone. Maybe you just had too much sun. You did say you had just gotten to the island and many underestimate how it can really drain you. Well, I might agree with you if it wasn't for the fact that after I walked out of the jungle, I had bruises all over my legs. I hadn't bumped into anything or been hit. I told somebody later about it and they said it was the spirits in the jungle letting me know to ask permission next time. I've heard stories similar to that plenty of times. There's something about that jungle though. Nowhere else on the island do strange things happen like that. Well, what about you? Any crazy stories to tell? I've had a few, but the one that stands out is when I saw a woman on the bridge into the valley one night. She was all in white and she hey, was so Hey! Half a day, girls! <laughs> Half a day, Toon Frank! 
<laughs> you have some tuba for me? Oh yeah, baby girl, I got a lot of tuba for you. <laughs> hey, it's pretty crazy about tonight, right? What? It's the first time in a thousand years that the moon will be this close to the Earth. I hear things are gonna get pula crazy tonight in the Coconut Valley. <laughs> you won't see me anywhere close to that jungle. Speaking of, let me make sure I check in with Talia and Kuo, just to make sure they're all right. Oh, you've spooked yourself out, huh? <laughs> a little. Once I hear her voice, I'll be fine. Hmm. Don't start jumping to conclusions, all right? They're probably just having way too much fun for her to pick up the phone. I hope not too much. Let me try call. Okay, now I'm worried. Relax, Miss T. They went out on the boat. I'm sure they're just in the water. They're fine. Ugh, I suppose. As the sun slowly ducks beyond the trees in the jungle and it becomes dark, Kor is more worried than ever about getting himself and Talia out of harm's way. Oh, Talia, this is exactly what I was worried about. We're too far into the jungle and my phone barely has reception. We should go. Relax, Koa. Just go with the flow. Good idea. If we head back towards the river, we can follow that back to the resort. Mm-hmm. Great. The resort. What's wrong with the resort? Nothing. It's just I have to be a different person when I'm around my aunt. I hate having to fake it. What, what do you mean? Fake what? Uh, being a good girl with a good head on her shoulders who could build something like my auntie built here in Tulunalu. Sometimes I just want to be young and free without all of the expectations of my family. Oh, like right now. I want to go see where that drumming is coming from. Let's go. Come on, Talia. I don't want to be like one of those dumb howlies in horror movies and follow the drums to some killers. Let's head back. We don't have to go to the resort, but let's just get out of this jungle. Please, turn on your flashlight. People who play the drums aren't killers. They're fun and more likely partiers. Don't you want to party with me, Koa? <laughs> Come on! You're killing me, girl. Maybe literally. Look, I was right. It's a party. Oh, oh slow down. I don't recognize any of these people. And I know everybody on the island. Well, maybe they're tourists. Oh, no, no, not the way that they're dancing. Those dances are ancient. So are their clothes. Ah! On the other side of the valley, Sheriff Leilani and Deputy Makani are working overtime dealing with all the calls coming in on this spooky night. I'm so sick of all these people screaming and crying about everything today. Her rabbit's got out because she didn't have a proper lock on her fence. A ghost didn't steal it. So ridiculous. I know, I know. But have a little empathy, Makani. A little. Everyone's just on edge thinking something bad is going to happen tonight. That's why. Don't they see? When they expect bad things, bad things come. Maybe, but sometimes things come whether you like it or not. Everyone just needs to relax and start fitting into the folklore. Enjoy Tulunalu, not fear it. Look at this view. Look at the most beautiful place on the earth. This place is majestic. What the? Isn't that cause Jeep down there in Kokonu Valley? Oh, looks like. He's supposed to be looking after Talia. He knows better than to take her to the valley on this night of all nights. Oh, maybe he let someone else use his jeep. Kokwa, I'll call Mr. Wheeler and we'll see. This <sighs> phone is going straight to voicemail. Hello. 
Are Claw and Talia with you at the resort? Sheriff, no, they were out on the water earlier, but it's dusk, so I'm expecting them any minute now. Well, I don't want to alarm you, but I see Claw's Jeep down by Kokonu Valley. What? Oh my, on your way. I specifically told them I didn't want them anywhere near the valley today. Eh. Don't worry. I want to pull it. Makani and I are here. We'll go get them and bring them back to you. And then you can resume your yelling. Oh, I haven't even started yelling. Oh, if I don't think I'm bad, I heard Mr. Willis through the phone. Cause better off in the jungle than having faced Miss Tear. Back in the jungle, Claw and Talia have been discovered by strangers as they spy on their ritual. It seems the jungle's eyes have manifested. Are you a friend or enemy? Uh, hey, uh, bro, we just, we, we didn't want to disturb you. You seem to be busy and, you know, we were just passing through. We'll go. No, 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 let's stay. We're friends, we're friends. I'm Talia and this is Koa. Then, friend, I am Holokatai, chief of the Tangahue people. And this is my wife, Tukaksa. Please, please join us on this special night. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I think we need to leave. Uh, you know, Mr. Wheeler is going to be worried, and I like my job, which could be gone if I don't get you back to the resort soon. It's a party in the jungle. How cool is that? And look, we don't have any cell signal. It's the perfect excuse. Don't worry, I'll make sure you don't get in trouble. Let's live a little. I never get to do stuff like this back in Australia. This is like cultural and entertaining at the same time. My aunt would approve. Trust me. Something isn't right here, Talia. You're just being overprotective, which is kind of sexy. Come on, let's have some fun. <laughs> oh! <laughs> look, oh look, I... They are so young and fit. They will do well in ceremony. Ah, thanks, girl. I do CrossFit at least three times a week. And I watch my cards. What kind of ceremony are you doing? It is to honor Tamagori, our ancestor. We dance and drink kava to honor him. Kava? I haven't had kava in so long. It is being prepared as we speak. Look! There! Whoa, that's real kava, not the powder. But, but it doesn't grow here on Tulunala. Where did you get it? We cultivate the kava here, in the jungle. The ground is fertile for many things. Bro, why you sound so creepy? Eh, Koa, cool, don't be rude. He's in character. Let's blend in. Here, have some kava. <laughs> it's actually really good. Best I've ever had. Ah, Koa, are you going to fight everything I do tonight? I thought we were going to have some fun and see where the night takes us. If you want to leave, fine. But I'll find someone else who can make my trip memorable if you don't want to. Come on, Talia. It's just that I'm responsible for you and... Hey, I'm responsible for me. Now, are you going to drink this cover with me or do I have to find another guy at this party to have fun with? Fine. Mmm. This is good. It's sweet. I've never tasted anything like this. <laughs> I know, right? I could drink this all night. Ooh, come on, let's dance. Oh, shoot, let's do it. Wow, you're a great dancer. Oh, mahalo, mahalo. You know, I've been dancing with mahalo since I was four. Yeah, I don't feel too good. Mm, me neither. My, my legs, they're stiff and I... Koa! Koa, get up! I can't, my legs! I can't! Grab the boy! I'll take the girl. We must put him on the altar and perform the ceremony while the moon still hangs high in the sky. Finally, we'll be free from this jungle, and the island will be ours for the taking. 
I can't wait to finally be back in a body made of flesh and blood and to have breasts that don't hang down to my knees. <laughs> I can't wait either. Koa? Koa? Can you hear me? Talia, are you okay? My head is tied down. I can't see you. Mine is too. Oh, I'm sorry, Koa. I should have listened to you. What are we going to do? What are they going to do to us? I don't know, but stay calm. We have to stay calm. As the moon is full in the sky, let my spirit fill the body of this man who has sacrificed himself to me. As the moon is full in the sky, let my spirit fill the body of this woman who has sacrificed herself for me. Oh, they want to possess us. I know. I'm freaking out here, Koa. Silence! We have waited for over a thousand years for this night to come. Who are you? Why are you doing this to us? We are Tanahue. Marauders raided and pillaged our way across the sea. If not for a curse put on us for being the chief's daughter, we would have conquered every island that dots the surface of the sea. <laughs> oh, well, oh, well, dead. We were marooned on this island, cursed to live in this valley, not able to leave its boundaries. Until tonight, when you are foolish enough to enter our hallowed ground. Well, where is the sacred implement? Here, my love. Oh, bruh, that's one big shock tooth. What you gonna do with that? Deep in the jungle, Sheriff Leilani and Makani search for Kor and Talia. Oh, this is not how I expected to be spending my night roaming in Kokonu Valley on this night of all nights. Ah. Hey. At least we're the ones doing the roaming and not the spirits. Besides, now we can prove it's all nonsense and superstitions. Sheriff. Sheriff. Shh. I sounded like Talia. Come on, this way. Makani, are you stopping? It's, uh... We're getting closer, but we need to be quiet. We don't know what we're going to find. Roger that. Oh, God. Shh. Look. What the hell is going on? There's to be at least 50 people there. And I don't recognize any of them. I thought I knew everybody on this island. Oh, God. Look again. Talia and Kaur are tied up. Oh, we have to save them. Quack. Wait, what can you, wait, 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 wait. We cannot risk charging in if it puts Kor and Talia in danger. We need a plan. The moon is waiting for blood to be spilled. I think we're too late. No! no! Tune in next week for Island Mystery Theater's final episode of Spirits in the Valley.